Hey, this is Ice Spangler, and this is episode 8 of Building the Battle of Mets in Lego. Here, you just can see I've put in some more German infantry. I originally had 6 in here, but I had 7 other ones I was going to re-decal. And I re-decaled those guys, and they turned out pretty good. Let me, here's just one of the guys. Get a quick look at him. Decaling turned out really well this time. A lot better than it was before I redecaled these guys just because they're the first batch of guys I ever made and they didn't turn out too good. I sprayed the clear coat on a little too close and I had a bad knife so I made some bad cuts. Okay, so that's them. Now let me just give you a quick view of the whole mock if you haven't been watching the previous segments gotten pretty far in this mock it's getting close to being done I think I'll do get up to episode 10 and then finish it there and then have a finale video so this is episode 8 I'll have two more videos so here's kind of just a quick view for those who haven't seen the previous segments. This segment, I'll probably be working on the road some more, adding a lot more detail. So, you could turn it back around to so get a good road view. I'm mainly talking about this back road part because the, the other side, the one with the Shermans on it, that already has the track and the mud detail, so I don't really need to add much to that. But for this side, I'll be adding parts like these. One by twos with the little stud, I'll just put those around there and stuff like that. So that's what I'll get started on in this segment. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started building. Okay, coming back to see what I've done, I've been working on this road adding some detail to that mostly just these either the track the track parts are these studded flat tiles also a few of these little circle parts and then some of those one by one slopes as far as this mock that's all I was working on so far, but also I just kind of started. I decided that for my next little small mock, or I guess it's not super small, but two by two large gray base plates, I'm going to do a desert one, desert mock instead of instead of a winter mock. Because, just because I don't have the tree parts, I use all my tree leaf pieces, I mean, to on this mock. So if I was going to do a, a, like a winter one, I would probably have been in the Ardennes forest. And it's a forest, so you'll need the trees. And yeah, right at the moment, I'm not ready to go and buy a bunch more of those leaf pieces because they do get pretty pricey so I, then I just started thinking about the desert mock and then what vehicles I would put in so then I built this M3 Lee with a desert camo on it it's not completely finished like this this light gray or light bluish gray those two pieces right here those are supposed to be dark bluish gray but I couldn't find any more and also these these parts I only have one of them on this right at the moment so I'll have to get more of those and then these little box spots I don't have all the I only have them on these sides these little corner spots I don't have all those yet but for the most part it's pretty much done so I'll be doing a desert mock I'll probably have it uh, like a, 
It'll be the desert, and then I'll have a little oasis, I think. And then I'll have this M3 Lee. The, uh, it'll be the British. I'll be making some more British, so I'll be getting some more British and Afrikorps German troops decals. I'll need to get some more tan legs. Since I have tan bodies, but I ran out of tan legs, so I'll need to get some more of those to make the rest of the infantry. But I'll make like a little oasis, I think, and then I probably can make a few a few palm trees and then uh, for the German vehicles I'll probably put at least one Panzer III. I'm thinking about making two of them and putting those in and they'll kind of be ambushing the British at the Oasis. It's not really a specific battle, more of just overall the North Africa campaign. Not really a specific historic battle, just kind of generic fight in the desert I guess so that's the other part that I was working on this M3 Lee it's not the the nicest looking tank but they still used them they weren't very effective so they stopped using them but they did use them in the earlier part of the war so that's I was working on the road and the M3 leaf so far. Now I think I'll go ahead and I will start putting some more detail like in the landscape. Which we turn it around. So here's the front part. I think I'll put parts just kind of generic. First I'll add in a bunch of these these stud parts. I'll put a bunch of those in all over. Also I'll have a few of these. And then I'll think I'll get started up in this back here. I'll put some more like bushes so that since it's pretty open right at the moment I'll put have the grass be longer there and then I I might get to start putting in some grass in this little bit. I don't think I'll finish in this segment so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started adding some more detail into the landscape and then start putting in some of the grass. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start building some more. Okay, coming back to show you what I've been doing. I have been working on grass. Just putting in the grass. So here you kind of kind of just see how I've done it. I'm trying to play some kind of random, not in any specific order. Just, just put them all in, placing them in, and this is how it turned out. I did not finish the whole putting down grass on the whole mock. As you can see, just that this side is pretty much done. This other side, I ran out. As you can see, there's I filled in like a little bit back there, but then I ran out. So I'll have to order some more. And I think when I order some more, I might get some green studs. I think I'll pull out these ones and replace them with just some green studs. I think that will look better. Then it will be a kind of a gradual grass coming in. So that the studs will kind of look like short grass and it will come into this longer grass. In this back area, I added a little pond just because of how it was the dark green. And there I have the trans green studs for the water. And there you can see I have a little, or kind of can see, I have a little path where that German infantryman is. So that's basically what I've been doing, just putting in some grass. Let me quick give you a view of the other little bit, little patch of grass I put in right here. Okay. Oh, and regarding some just infantry guys, I decided I'll probably just put in these guys. And where I'll put them, I think I'm gonna, when I'm putting in the interior and detailing this building, I think I'll just have these guys inside so they don't 
really mix with the other guys that they're not the same since these guys are the dry decal those are the water slide ones so they do look slightly different so just not to mix them too much i think i'll just put these guys inside the building with other things so i'll probably put like tables maybe a little radio station or something like that okay that's it for what i've been doing so far in this segment regarding things coming up i think i will one of the next i can't i don't know if it's next week or the week after that but spring break is coming up and i'll probably take a week off of posting an update video since i probably wouldn't really get anything done for that week since i'll be on vacation so i think i could do one next week but maybe not the following week so that's it for this segment let me just kick, give you a, another view just before we go out okay that's it for this segment thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video